Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Happy Mad Scientist. Welcome back to another video. So acetone smoothing, what is it? How does it work? And why do people do it? So acetone smoothing is where you take a part printed in ABS with a 3D printer. And uh, ABS is a type of plastic and uh, acetone can dissolve it. So what you do is you take vapors of the acetone. It's very volatile, so it's very easy to create vapors. And you kind of melt the outside layer of 3D printed part to make it all glossy so this is an acetone smooth part you can see how glossy it is and how there's like no layer lines or anything like that and this is a very very extremely strong part and then here we go with the non acetone smooth still very strong um, but the it's more of a flat appearance and uh, there's some blemishes you can see some top layers there um, where on this model it's completely disappeared so that is the the main benefit of acetone smoothing is uh, it looks a lot better. And it also, yeah, it just it just gives your parts an all around more professional um, injection molded type appearance. I got the light there, it's getting dark. So what I set out to do is make an efficient yet easy to perfect way of acetone smoothing your parts. And uh, for Christmas, my little brother got me this crock pot here, or rice cooker, I guess, technically. I don't, really, I don't really know what the difference is, but I just could not figure out what to do with it. And uh, then it all of a sudden hit me that this would be an awesome acetone smoothing device. So what I did is to make this very suitable for acetone smoothing is I printed a little base that I can set down in there and that's up off the bottom. So you can pour acetone in there and uh, it doesn't get to the part. And then you can put your part on top of there and uh, then for larger parts, since this right here is uh, about that tall, and it's, I means for stuff like this, or even this, and that's, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work out very well. So what I did is I printed a chamber extender, and uh, this, you can print stuff about that tall on top of that. So basically, I max out my 3D printer height-wise. And this goes, the lid just goes right on top of it, like the normal uh, rice cooker. And uh, this, so far, I've only done a few, but it works so much better. This is one, for example, and it just, it's so easy to perfect. So, take some acetone. This thing came with a measuring cup, and uh, this is polypropylene, so this doesn't dissolve in acetone. And I'm gonna pour out about half a cup to a quarter of a cup. Put that down in and then go ahead and start it. Keep this away from any open flames unless you wanna kill yourself. It seems it will work best if you turn it to cook and then you hear a boiling. And uh, once the vapors start, actually this, I don't need the chamber extender for this because this is a short one. Once the vapors start condensing on the top of the lid, then you can turn it to warm. You don't wanna get this thing uh, super hot where it'll auto ignite the acetone and cause a big fireball. I've singed off a few eyebrows doing that. Basically when the acetone stops evaporating it stops cooling itself and therefore it can auto ignite. The, the hot plate will get hot enough to auto ignite the acetone which is not good. And uh, just a quick note here it's like 30s out here so the acetone as soon as it comes out of here it kind of condenses and goes down so I don't have to worry about a respirator um, but yeah I'd recommend one anyway like I can't smell any acetone right now it's just because it's so cold all right the acetone vapors are now condensing on the lid and I'm gonna go ahead and turn it to warm so that is partially acetone smoothed I'll let it in just a little bit longer. That is satisfactory. Okay, at this point you'll want to keep it in a very uh, dry place otherwise it will turn white I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use my other plate here 
and acetone this thing this is a rather large I think there's enough acetone in there to uh, finish it up Phew, that is beautiful absolutely beautiful so what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna do all of these here and then I'll get back to you and show you the end results of all of them and uh, yep we'll go from there all right so it's a bit later and these have had time to cure and uh, I'm actually super happy with them starting out with the cuddling owls these just look it just is so smooth and looks so cool people when they see these heavily acetone smooth stuff they have to go up and touch it and just feel it because it I mean it just it looks so cool but uh, yeah it removes a lot of the marks almost all the marks and blemishes of the 3d printer of what the 3d printer does and it looks really good uh this is a pretty heavily acetone smooth thing this one wasn't very heavily acetone smooth because if you acetone smooth thin walled stuff they tend to kind of melt and bend but this vase like a uh, normally like before i acetone smooth if you did that it would either snap in half or it sound like it would snap in half um, and these are these fins here are really flexible that wasn't something that uh, I could do before I acetone smooth it because it melts the layers together and it just makes it a more strong and flexible part. Uh, these little owls, the one with support that looked kind of nasty before I smoothed it. It still looks a little nasty, but it looks a lot better. And uh, this one without supports, uh, this one looks really good and really clean. It, it's very light on the acetone. So smoothing all these, it took about a cup probably and uh, normally with a big uh, the way I normally did it was a big pot and that would take two cups maybe maybe three cups to smooth all these and uh, so this is not this is so this is very economical uh, acetone smoother it's really easy to perfect you just put it in and turn on the heat five minutes later it's uh, done so yeah oh yeah the base the bases I pr originally printed in PETG. My PETG must have had some sort of uh, easy print formula uh, or like less stringy formula. I don't know. And it kind of sort of melted in the, P in the uh, acetone. But uh, the PLA did not melt. But it uh, melt from the acetone. But the heat from the cooker uh, softened it and it would bend a little bit. And that was, I believe... This one, I was trying, I don't know, I think I left, yeah, this one, this one I was think I was printing or doing, and it got too hot and uh, melted it. Uh, but these are one or two time use. I mean, you could easily just take a piece of wood and cover it with some tin foil or wax paper, and uh, that would work really good too. Or some other type of uh, non melting non-melt, melty in acetone plastic. Nylon, polypropylene, kind of any kind of those stuff that would work fine uh, or just straight up PET or PETG without any easy print stuff in it. So super happy with this. Uh, let's see, there's nothing else to really say. So uh, that's it for this video and uh, subscribe and like the video. Stay tuned for upcoming videos because I got some interesting stuff coming up as always. And uh, yep, I'll see you next time.